All right, everyone, take a nice deep breath in, close your eyes. And let's make sure both of your feet are flat on the floor, that your spine is straight, that your physical body is now relaxed and fully present. And just breathing gently, get fully present. You are all familiar with the meditations at the center, so if we say set a clear intention for all of your chakras to fall into balance, to be active and aligned and fully synchronized with each other, your body, like the Pavlov signal, will be able to do exactly that. So in your mind's eye, to make sure that your body has received the signal, set your own clear intention for all of your chakras to be open, active, aligned, fully synchronized for your highest good. And in complete receptive readiness, or any and all transmissions of energy that become available during this meditation. And very gently scan your energy system from the chakras in the soles of your feet to the chakras in your ankle to the chakras in your knees and in your buttocks and the base chakra and just check that the getting grounded and getting centered has in fact anchored these chakras of your lower limbs to the stabilizing energy of the earth. Check that they are open and active and receptive. Check that they are aligned and synchronized with each other. And that in being so, they have brought the left side of your body into balance with the right side of your body. And as you are checking that, trace the energy flow of these lower chakras from the soles of your feet up to the base and see that it creates an upside down U-shaped flow or a horseshoe shaped flow. flowing upward from the left all the way through the base and down into the right and upward from the right all the way through the base down into the left as well as from the base chakra itself downward into the ground and from the ground upward into the base chakra. You now have a tripod of energy connecting you to the earth. And if you, like most of the animals of your acquaintance, walked on all four you would create exactly the same flow of energy between your left palm and your right palm. For the purposes of this meditation, however, we're going to use the vibrations of the heavens. So now bring your attention 
to the top of your head. Ensure that your crown chakra is fully open and receptive and in your mind's eye you may anchor yourself to the heavens, sending your energy upward and receiving higher vibrational white light that connects you fully to your guides, your angels, your ascended masters, to home, to your highest source self. And allow that energy to flow all the way downwards into your shoulders, into your elbows, and into your palm chakra. If your arms were raised in receptivity, you would be creating another tripod, this time with the you facing upward and the flow going from your left palm all the way downward through your throat chakra, through your upper heart center, into your right palm and from your right palm through your elbows and your shoulders your throat and your upper heart center into your left palm all the while flowing upward and downward through the crown chakra through your third eye chakra and through your throat chakra. And now all that is left are the very human chakras, the sacral and the solar plexus, the chakras of creativity and power. And we have not forgotten the heart center, the mediating chakra that allows your creativity and your power to be expressed fully as generosity, grace, love, trust, loyalty, compassion. Simply let the energy flow anchoring you to the heavens and the earth simultaneously. And while that flow continues, bring your attention to your solar plexus, here where your gut instinct lies, here where your willingness to take risks to explore, experiment, expose, and discover the adventure of you lies. You may imagine your solar plexus as a bright, bold sun. You may imagine it as the deep shades of saffron. You may imagine it as any shade of yellow through to gold. but imagine it in full flow. And there, at the center of it, which flows through from past into present moment, I want you to imagine that there is a tiny little circle of red, a tiny little ball of fear. Make it a speck. And now very gently, just breathing, 
I want you to sit quietly and for the first time in the history of meditation I want you in your mind's eye to imagine your fears. I want you to look back and see those moments in which you have felt your fear, felt your doubt, all of the experiences from the time you were a child and as each picture comes up I want you to breathe in nicely and exhale all of that energy out into the universe and let that red speck inside of you grow bigger and bigger. We are literally pulling the fear energy out of all of your chakras, out of all of your auric field bodies, out of every one of your cells and into your solar plexus where your fight or flight survival mechanism sits, where your defense mechanism sits. And all we want to do is clear away the extraneous fear. So start with your spiritual body where you have the fewest fears and let's pull them down from your crown chakra, pull them out from your outermost body. I fear that God does not listen. I am afraid that I am not faithful enough, devoted enough, ritualistic enough good enough, humble enough, religious enough, accepting enough of God and all that I have been taught. I fear my dependence I fear the unknown. I fear God. Okay. That one pressed a button. I fear God. I fear the existence of hell. I fear death. Just breathe through all of those fears and any others that come up for you and let that red speck of energy grow bigger and bigger as the energy flows into your solar plexus from your crown chakra, your spiritual body, your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind, yourself even your emotional body and mental body and they're all connected so let those fears flow into your solar plexus and see that ball of energy with the speck of red in the middle growing bigger and bigger and bigger it's okay your fear is completely contained by your solar plexus energy and the authentic power of your solar plexus energy can hold it. Your entire body is holding it. We are merely concentrating the presence of your fear in one chakra. Look through that spiritual body. I am afraid that my prayer will never be answered. I am afraid that I have forsaken God and God has forsaken me. I am afraid that I am ugly and 
face of all the beauty that the universe has to offer. My greatest fear is that I am unworthy of this life, this divine will and free will life with which I am blessed. Just pull all of that energy into your solar plexus and let the red ball of energy grow bigger while you breathe out the feeling, the stale energy. And investigate your mental body. Investigate all of those thoughts chemical reactions running through you. I am afraid to fail. I cannot take risks for fear of failure. I am afraid to be vulnerable in the world. Whatever your fear, whatever your mind throws up at you, I am afraid of the unknown. I need a time, place, date, person, hook, link, channel, tangible definition. I am afraid of the nebulous. I am afraid of being scared. Every time I am scared, I go into greater and greater fear. I am afraid of not being smart enough, clever enough, intelligent enough, quick enough, sociable enough, quiet enough. I am afraid of not being enough. I am afraid of not being practical enough or romantic enough. I am afraid of not being enough, of not fulfilling other people's expectations. I'm afraid of not being in control. I'm afraid of being overwhelmed by life and all its variables. I'm afraid by too much and too little. So I fear the extremes of life. I fear the duality of life. And I fear balance. I fear boredom, the middle road, harmony. I seek to worry. Check your thinking, it is there. And again, I am afraid of no thought. I am afraid of no thing. I am afraid of the death of ecstasy and the renewal of it. I am afraid to let go and let God. I am afraid of illogical, intangible. I am even afraid of love and how it blurs my thinking, how it blurs my logic. I am afraid of getting hurt and being heartbroken. I am afraid of not being chosen, even as I am afraid of being chosen. My greatest fear is, and my greatest fear is that I will not. I am afraid to make decisions, even as I am petrified by the paralysis of indecision. I am afraid that life has no guarantees. And I am afraid of death and taxes. The mind is the playing field of fear. There will be plenty to find here. I am afraid of money and I am afraid of lack. 
I am afraid of those I perceive to be more powerful than I. There will be plenty of fear here. Pull it all in to your solar plexus. Pull it all out of your subconscious and unconscious mind and make it real in that big ball of red energy at the center of your solar plexus. Make it as real as possible. And breathe out gently. Let all of the feeling of fear flow. Store the images, the smells, the feelings, the emotions, all of that energetic stuff in your solar plexus and then breathe out the feeling. And let's look to your emotional body. Energy in motion. The result of a multitude of chemical reactions all accumulated, happening one on top of the other, right there, closest to your etheric field. I am afraid to love. I am afraid of not being loved. I am afraid of not being appreciated, acknowledged, seen, heard, known. I am afraid of being seen and known. I am afraid of intimacy, commitment, sharing, togetherness. I am afraid of being alone and lonely. I am afraid of my needs. I fear that my needs and desires will lead me astray. I am afraid of having and not having. I am afraid that I may never meet other people's needs and desires. I overcompensate for my fears. I am afraid of not belonging. I am afraid of not being creative. and procreated in the world. I am afraid that all of my chances for a fulfilling life have passed me by. I am afraid that life offers no second chances. I am afraid of my emotions. I find them unmanageable too illogical, too impractical, too dramatic, too everything, too insensible, too consuming. I am afraid of other people's emotions and other people's stories and dramas. I am afraid of my dependency on others. And again, I am afraid of dying. I am afraid of loss, losing, gains, races, competitions, money and people. Just soothe your emotional body down and very gently bring all of the fear into your solar plexus, all of the images and thoughts 
and words and emotion and feelings, smells, any perceptual reality stored in your unconscious and subconscious mind, bring it into your solar plexus, feel the red ball of energy grow bigger and bigger and breathe out the feeling. Just breathe it out. And in your mind's eye, see your solar plexus. Bright yellow to gold, deep shades of saffron, completely containing that red ball of energy as it grows larger and larger. See your solar plexus holding a sacred space for every named and unnamed fear that your physical body has experienced and remembers. For every named and unnamed fear that all of your bodies have seen heard, felt, known, witnessed through aeons of time and that is now housed in your physical body. Feel it all flowing to be contained in your solar plexus, all housed in this powerful sacred space that is uniquely yours. all the while ensuring that you are fully anchored by the earth and the heavens so that your entire auric field, all 12 bodies are stable. You may feel a pulsating at your solar plexus. You may feel a shifting in your digestive centers. All of the associated secondary and minor chakras there in your large intestines, small intestines, bladder, liver, even in your kidneys. may begin to respond. All of the glands, central nervous system may begin to respond to everything now harmed in your solar plexus. And long but not least, let us look at your physical body. All of the fears associated with the physical body. The fear of crime in this country. The fear of any kind of crime that lives in our mass consciousness connects us all. I am afraid of being hijacked, burgled, shot, raped, kidnapped, ransomed, not over, attacked, assaulted, abused. I am afraid of other people's physical power and other people's unreasonable behavior. I am afraid of large crowds and snakes and spiders and reptiles of all descriptions. I am afraid of dogs. Okay. 
I am afraid of the wilderness. Forests, large bodies of water, mountain tops, great heights. Again, I am afraid of being alone. I am afraid of being sick, ill, incapacitated, incapable of utilizing my physical body fully. I am afraid of getting older. And again, I am afraid of death, my own and the death of others. I am afraid of strangers. I am afraid of a lack of physical plane resources, money, friends, things, time. I am afraid that as I grow older, I will be more dependent on others. I fear dependency on others. I am afraid of responsibility. I fear other people's opinions of my body, my work, and my being. I am afraid to inherit dis-ease or disease and distress in my physical body. I am afraid that I may already have damaged my physical body beyond repair. I am afraid of being lazy and incompetent. I am afraid of travel. I am afraid of leaving my comfort zone. I am afraid of exposing my physical body in intimate partnership relationship. I am afraid of not knowing what to do in any circumstances. Pull all the fears of your physical body out of your etheric field, out of your mind, out of your emotional body, out of your spiritual body, out of your subconscious and out of your unconscious. Pull it out of every cell and put it in your solar plexus. Let it all flow through all of the cracks that fear creates in your energy system into the center of your being, right there to the core of your survival in your solar plexus and see that red ball of energy grow bigger, bolder, brighter, fully contained by this powerful sun chakra. And then relax. Just breathe out any feeling and relax. Just be gentle with yourself for a moment. Feel how your solar plexus is responding. And breathe your way through. Allow all fears 
named and unnamed, that reside in your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body to flow through to your solar plexus. Set a clear intention to become detached from any and all named and unnamed, known and unknown, acknowledged and unacknowledged, fears that reside anywhere in your energy system. And breathe gently as your solar plexus absorbs all of those fears and the energy of all of those fears into that big red ball. See it grow deeper in color. See it grow darker until the red gets darker and darker and is almost black. A deep, intense, garment that is almost black. Guides, angels, ascended monsters, we have gathered our fears before you. We have placed them in the life force, the solar plexus, within our own sacred space and authentic power. Lend us your grace and your power that we may cut all ties, rescind all vows and oaths, break all cords, to become fully detached from these unnecessary, irrelevant, low vibrational, speculative illusions called fear. We surrender all past lives and karmic inhibitors, any conditioned inhibitor, any habitual inhibitor, inhibitors. With your support and your love, we will keep only those fears that support and challenge our adventure as evolutionary beings. All else is surrendered. Thank you. Our Lady Isis and her Lord Husband Osiris, Lord of the Sun, are present. He asks you gaze upon that dark circle of energy that sits in your palm. See it as clearly as possible and with every breath that you take in, take in the power of the sun and the power of the moon, the power of this heavenly couple in their togetherness into your solar plexus and on every out breath allow that dark energy to flow out. So breathe in nice and deep and see the energy of the sun and the moon 
flowing inward all the way into your solar plexus and on the out breath feel being pushed out of your solar plexus all of the debris all of the dark energy of fear you may see it as a laser beam you may see it as dust mites you may see it as old strands of spaghetti you may see it as fungus you may see it as any dirty energy at all or just dark light flowing out of you and being absorbed says surrender this illusionary power place it in our hands give your power away you may feel all of your human chakra responding as you breathe in the sun and the moon energy to revitalize the rhythms of your own body to revitalize the cycles of your own body to stabilize the ebb and flow of your own flow and on the out breath as you release all of the low vibrational energy and even the leftover energy from last week's meditation in which we worked with the scorpions in the presence of lady isis you may find some leftover energy with that release it feel your physical body responding beginning to pulse with this vacuuming effect this cleansing effect you may even feel your physical body feeling lighter heavier on the lower chakras and eventually lighter becoming a family affair Isis is also mother to Horus the solar plexus is predominantly yang energy and she has asked the men in her life to create a third tripod of energy that stabilizes your own helps you to let go of whatever you choose and to replenish and rejuvenate your energy system even as you surrender it you are now anchored by three triangles three by three by three and all is complete and well just relax in the meditation and allow the transmission of energy to feed into your upper chakras via your upward flowing horseshoe and your lower chakra by your downward facing horseshoe and directly into your solar plexus see that red ball of energy growing smaller and smaller one small until it is no more than a speck feel the low vibrational energy of all of your fears named and unnamed flowing out of you feel the illusion being surrendered and feel the clarity being rejuvenated reawakened 
and realigned within you. And allow any physical reactions to simply be. Your joyfulness awaits. It is only your fear which is in fact a lack of faith that inhibits you, limits you. Just breathe deeply and let go of all of the fear that we have collected from all of your bodies. Surrender. Allow the authentic path your solar plexus to be fully present, to shine through, to be renewed and rejuvenated by all three triangles of energy now feeding into your energy system. Allow that same flow of energy to flow downward into your sacral chakra that it may inform the use of free will in harmony with divine will in all co-creation with the universe in all manifestation and allow the energy of your solar plexus to flow upward into your heart center to inform all relating, to ensure that any new doubts or fears are felt from a space of love, surrounded by love, and supported by love that they may be overcome. And on a deep breath in, let go of all of the images, all of the visualizations. Just focus on your breathing and be still. Be quiet. Relax. Breathe. Allow the energy transmission to be completed. Scan your energy system for any shifts and changes and just breathe. My guides and ascended masters wish you well. As always, they bring us blessings. As always, they are reminding me that we are surrounded by unconditionally loving, supportive energy within which everything is possible. And the nothingness is real. So spread your wings. So, if you can imagine it, you can be. When you are ready, you may bring yourself back to this moment here and now.